Folks can't get out because right now, mm -hmm. Lambert Airport, all the runways are closed. The shutdown happened just before 6 o'clock this morning. Yeah, so joining us now is Rhonda Hamnabrigi with Lambert Airport uh, to tell us what is going on at the airport. Rhonda, can you hear us? I can. Thank you. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Are you at the airport right now? I am. You are. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so can you tell us what's going on? Sure, the crews have been out working all night, uh, putting all of the product out that we can use on the runway. Obviously, salt is not something we can use on the runways, but with the ice continuing to come down, it's been challenging. So we do expect that one of the runways is getting fairly clear right now. They're going through the second uh, push of the brooms once it's been uh, treated again for about the fourth time. And so we anticipate that we'll see one of those open uh, in the next hour or two. But we always encourage people, you know, check with your airlines. There were a lot of cancel Installations that were posted last night uh, due to the potential of ice. So a lot of the airlines don't like to bring aircraft in and then have them iced over all night. So, you know, you can deal with a lot of things. Ice is challenging at the airport. Uh, Rhonda, when the uh, airport does open back up and the planes are able to take off, what will be the procedure for the airplanes to make sure that they're safe to fly? Sure. In an operation like this, there's always going to be de-icing going on. So obviously the airport and airlines are very experienced in dealing with this, as well as the flight crews. So once the airport, uh, the runway does reopen, then again, check with your airline to make sure that it's operating because they may make operational decisions uh, just based overall on, you know, the crews and where the airplanes are and what they have going on. But they'll they'll get the clearance to take off. And then in most cases, they're going to pull over to their de-icing pads. They're obviously going to de-ice the airplanes before they take off. And you know, I was looking at your tweets from the airport this morning and it says it takes a dedicated team of rock stars to conquer winter weather at the airport. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, who you've had working over the last, you know, I don't know, 24 hours or how do you prepare for something like this? So we started snow crews, uh, you know, we have the regular teams on and then obviously during uh, winter weather, if we have a snow event or an ice event like this, we bring crews on, additional crews on early. So they started yesterday uh, late evening, the additional crews started pre-treating all of the runways. Those crews run through the night. So we run these 12 hour shifts and then the next crew of 12 hours will come in. So we anticipate that throughout today as the temperatures, once they get to 32 degrees, um, it will be a lot easier. However, the ground, because of the severe freezing over the last week, the ground's very cold. So unlike some events where the ground has been warm, once it hits that 32, everything starts melting. It's a little different with this, just based on the fact that the ground is so frozen and the temperatures uh, even in the concrete uh, have been very cold. So you just continue to work the crews through the night. You continue to put down the products that um, are viable for the runway to use. And then you break the brooms out and brush them and you start that process all over again. But you have to make sure that obviously when you finish with the runway that it's ice free so that there's not any incidents with the airplane. So it's always better to be extra cautious and make sure that there's no ice whatsoever so that the landings and take are safe. Well, we certainly wish everyone at the airport the best, and we know that you are working mm -hmm. so hard to keep everyone safe. Rhonda Hemnabrigi, thank you so much for joining us. We know that you are extremely busy. We really appreciate your time this morning. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You know, like they say, it takes a village. It also takes a